Alrighty, uh, today is the 28th of November. Temperature is 50 degrees. Uh, grip heaters are on. Turn the seat heater on. Um, today's ride is just a small one because it's starting to get winter and it's getting a little chilly, so it's kind of hard to do longer rides. Um, just basically going from Derby to uh, Rose Hill. Then we're going to take Rose Hill Road almost to Udall. And uh, then we'll be taking a turn. And I will give you that road when we get to it. Um, some back hill roads, kind of nice. And it'll bring us back to 47th Street. So we're going to be getting on from here, Buckner, or I mean 63rd. From here, Buckner to uh, <coughs> 63rd, out to Rose Hill, Rose Hill Road, down toward Udall. And then, like I said, I'll let you know when we get to that point what road we're going to be on next. Anyway, I'm just kind of enjoying the day, and, and uh, so I hope you're enjoying it too. Hope all, everybody had a, a wonderful Thanksgiving. Uh, being in Kansas, they didn't have all this crazy draconian stuff going on like Oregon and California does. So we're basically a able to get out and about as we please. They just ask us to wear masks when we go into businesses. So it's a little on the cloudy side. Uh, I already said the temperature is 50 degrees. Um, There's a probable for rain if you look off that direction. The clouds are getting thickening up a little bit. So we could very well run into some light rain in our ride today. I always like taking my, uh, doing different things like GoPro on these little rides and stuff. I'll uh, put it on the back of my bike to take rear shots and uh, and then I like to set it up on um, different locations and then do a motorcycle drive-by so I can kind of incorporate that into my videos to kind of make it a little bit cooler uh, add a little music to it uh, I've got a long way to go as far as rides now some of my early rides um, I had the Senna 10C with the 1080p uh, uh, filming capability. I now have a GoPro, which is a GoPro 7 Black. Um, the video is a lot better, so I recognize the need for that. Um, I've been telling people that if you get me anything for Christmas, get me another GoPro 7, Hero 7 Black because sometimes it's hard just dealing with one camera it would be nice to have two so that way I can kind of do everything with it on my videos I always do like five minute snippets uh, we just came off of Buckner and we are now on uh, 63rd which we call Patriot and Derby And as far as my capability of cutting and pasting my videos to my Mavavi, I use Mavavi for my film editor. So it's easier to do it when you do five minute clips at a time. All this area here when I moved to Derby was just nothing but um, uh, just open fields. Derby has exploded. We used to have to go down to Wichita for most of our restaurants and businesses and everything. And now it's like 
There's our golf course over there. Yeah, when they first decided to bring the golf course in, they tried to push it on our property taxes to help pay for it. And uh, we definitely raised a serious stink about that one. So the developers ended up either not putting it in or taking the full cost out, out of their own rears so there's a lot of nice houses around that area that I think that in order to buy those houses you probably pick up the cost of the of the uh, golf course which it should be uh, price of houses in Kansas is a lot more reasonable than other places I had a, just Idaho for example you think Idaho would be expensive but I had a friend of mine, uh, Gary Harris, knew from high school. We didn't seen each other in 40 years. We somehow met up on Facebook and we got talking and he says, uh, since you're retired, are you considering moving back to Idaho? And it's like, no, for one reason is that I look in Idaho and they got these little tiny one bedroom, one bath, uh, detached garage houses or I'm talking like lower end I mean really lower end and they're going for what one seventy five to two hundred thousand dollars now I bought my house 20 years ago for about a hundred nine here in Kansas and I can now get almost a hundred ninety for it so and I've got a pretty pretty nice house it's, my, it's not like super fancy like the ones by the golf course but it, it's comfortable but Man, I'd really have to downscale big time just to even buy a house there. Kansas uh, has been pretty good to me. I can't complain. Um, they do have a lot of pretty areas in Kansas. People get this misconception that they watch The Wizard of Oz and Dorothy's Farm where the tornado takes it up, their house up and everything and they show the background. Well, you can kind of tell it kind of looks like that now. But um, there's the other golf course. Just right outside of uh, Derby, so why they need two of them, I don't know. That one's like a pretty good size one right there. Looks like a few people are coming out, no matter if it's a little on the chilly side, and hitting some golf balls. And I got this little GoPro thing. It's right in front of me. You can see it with the red light flashing. It just helps me keep track. It, it controls my camera, so I push a button to stop and start it over and over again. But it keeps me on track as far as my time, so I can keep five-minute snippets. So it's easier for me to be able to uh, record everything. Anyway, I'm going to let a little bit of music in. Uh, water tower up there for Rose Hill we're gonna be taking a right on Rose Hill Road and going out of town and I'll bring it back up on the other side when we get outside Rose Hill uh, we'll be passing the high school you'll see the high school on my, on my left as we go out of town uh, it's a small community um, but anyway uh, we're gonna bring some, a little bit of music up that I've uh, downloaded off of adobe.com. It's uh, copyright uh, free, so I don't get hit by YouTube. Uh, just a little bit of music to enjoy. 
So uh, we'll come back here in about probably about six minutes. You have a good one. Enjoy.
Alrighty, coming back. I hope you enjoyed my music selection. Um, anyway, we're we're on, still on Rose Hill Road, heading toward Udall, but we're gonna get off up here to uh, head toward um, Mulvane. And just as, as we get into Mulvane, I'm going to cut it short, go down this one little road that's kind of a little bit cooler than riding on the highway. The green sign up there is Mulvane, so it'll be taking a right, right there. I put a uh, camera facing me coming this way, so I get a straight on shot as I make my turn, so you'll see here in a minute what I did. Listen a little bit more music just to kind of enjoy the ride a little bit. Okay, music coming on.
we got some pretty nice houses out here now a house like that over there you can get for about four hundred and fifty thousand here in kansas that house in uh probably idaho probably be like at least a third of that more or or more than that A lot of bicyclists out here i passed like three of them that's the kind of biking i need to do i'd probably lose a lot of weight somebody's got their trump flag still up be a popular road for bicyclists that's the fourth one I've seen in a half a mile guys wearing a mask can anybody help me out there why do people wear masks and they're out by themselves there's our cotton it's all in those yellow things in case you're wondering they harvest the cotton and then uh, they take it away here a little bit we're on Greenwich Road still. There's some buffalo, and we're not even South Dakota. Yeah, my ride. Yeah, my you can look at uh, my Sturgis South Dakota ride. And we rode all over South Dakota. We did like about 700 miles all over South Dakota. And we ran into Buffalo about four times where they're all over the place. Do you remember those uh, deals on this on the, in that one field that had their yellow cover over it and I said it was cotton? Well, there's a field right there that has not been harvested. And on this video, I stopped and took a close up video on my camera so you can see what uh, the cotton plant looks like up close here, uh, up here. continues on it'll come to a dead end and then we take a right and then immediate left I did some rear, rear uh, footings uh, footage or rear facing footage right through here so you'll see that on my video kind of give a little bit more added coolness After I get done with this ride, I'm going to go to Wellington, or not Wellington, Winfield, see if they got their park set up for uh, the lights, because they take a park and they just put all these lights in it so you can drive through it. Okay, now we're going to take a left right here. Greenwich
Okay, we're gonna do some more music on the way back. We're gonna be coming up to uh, 63rd and then heading back toward Derby and then I'm gonna go to Winfield. Remember that golf course I passed coming out toward um, Rose Hill? We did a full circle back. Alright, you've seen this before, so I'm just going to play some music while we ride this way back. <laughs> 